Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install texture or reskin mods in TCG Card Shop Simulator. I've been getting a lot of comments about people not knowing how to do this specifically, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you exactly how to do it. I do have another video that shows you how to install BEP in EX mods. These ones, these texture mods, don't use that method of installation, so this video will just show you how to do those ones. If you want information on how to install other mods that are not texture-based mods like this, then you can check out that video. Essentially, this is the Pokemod mod that I showed in my mod showcase video, and that's where a lot of these comments are coming from. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do this. It's uh, The instructions are actually in here. It's right here. But I think a lot of people are having trouble with like figuring out you know what to do with the zip file and all that stuff. So so first of all, you want to download the mod. So you go to files, manual download, okay, and then you want to save the file somewhere. So I have a folder on my computer called TCG mods, and that's where I save it. I'm just gonna save it just as the name, just so it's like less complicated. So I'm not gonna change the name. So I'm just gonna save it here. Now it's saved in the folder. So if I go to that folder now, I can see that file is here. These are all the other mods that I have. So I'm going to right click if you're on Windows uh, and I'm going to extract the file, extract all to a folder. Now this is where I'm going to change the name because it's just, you know, too weird. Pokemon video uh, example. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay. You can call it whatever you want. Then you hit extract and it will extract the files. Now in this new version, there's more files because I guess he changed the music, but in, in the previous versions, there was only two files. So you'll see there's some, there's some resource asset files, shared asset, whatever. And then there's a music resource one. So these are the files that you want to replace in TCG card shop simulator. Now I'm going to show you where to do that. So in steam, you want to go into steam. You want to go into steam and you want to go to your library. And then you want to right click on TCG Card Shop Simulator, go to manage and then browse local files. That will open a window on your computer. And the, the folder that you want is this one here, card shop simulator underscore data. Okay. So double click that. And now if you look in here, you'll see those resource asset files and stuff here. So now you want to go to the other folder that you had. Okay. So. This folder on the left is where I have the files that I downloaded from Nexus. This is the folder, the Pokemon video example, right? And this is the card shop simulator underscore data folder that I just pulled up from, uh, from steam. Okay. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to grab all of these and then I'm going to drag them over here. But what I would recommend you do is I would recommend that you just keep a backup of, of the files in this folder. You can, you can just like just these ones here, probably you don't need the, the actual folders themselves. Um, or you can just, you know, you can just back up the specific files like shared asset zero dot assets, shared asset one dot assets, resources dot assets. I don't think, uh, uh, there's one file that doesn't get overwritten. I think it might be the music resource one. So, but anyway, if, if it's easier, just, you know, back up all these files, just so that if you want to go back to the original skin, you can do that without having to verify your game files and all that stuff. So I'm just going to drag these right click, drag and copy here. Okay. And then you're going to replace the files in the destination. Now mine says four because I had the other music one. The, I'm replacing the mod with the mod or because you know, I already have it installed. So you replace the files and then it will paste them into here. Now, when you open the game, it should work. And if it doesn't work now, if you go back again and you play the game, after a day or two and you notice that it's not working. The reason why that's happening is because there was probably an update. So you want to check steam to see if the game has been up, if there's an update, right? Uh, if the game has been updated or whatever, like you'll, you'll see, you know, uh, right here, it'll say early access build 0.44. This update happened, um, on October 3rd, which was yesterday from this video. So, Usually when that happens, the mod author needs to update the mod and he's usually pretty good about that. He'll update them pretty quickly. And then you just need to go to Nexus, check to see if it says update available on the mod, and then you can just download it and do the same process all over again. So that's basically it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, if you have any trouble, uh, then keep, just remember that it's probably update related, but the actual installation of the files is pretty easy. So 
yeah, good luck. Drop a like and subscribe if this content has helped you. And if you want to see more TCG Car Shop Simulator videos or mod showcases, let me know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.